Hi, this is Josh, Trim Body Clinic, and welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 10. This episode is with returning patient Nora. She also came with her friend Concepcion, and they came for stem cell treatment. Nora's story is incredible. She first came to us in 2019. She'd had a heart attack, was in heart failure. A third of her heart was necrotic and we did 100 million IV at that time. She came back a year and three months later, and actually no, two years later, and her heart had been fully regenerated. So here we are five years later, we did a whole new EKG, echocardiogram, chest X-ray, all the new heart workups to provide some data for patients, and you're just gonna see how healthy and well her heart is now. So stay tuned and watch this great episode with Nora. DBC Diary Day 1. Today, Nora and Concepcion are arriving. Our driver, Paul, is going to be inside the airport at the information booth waiting for them. He's then going to help them by getting them a taxi to their hotel where they'll get settled in and rest for the rest of the day. DBC Diary Day 2. Today, Nora is going to go with our cardiologist to do a heart workup. We're going to do an EKG and an echocardiogram so that we can see exactly how well her heart is doing. It's been five years since her heart attack, five years since her first stem cell treatment. We want to show you just how well and how long lasting these results really can be. After she does the cardiology exams, she's gonna come over to the clinic where her and Concepcion are going to do blood work. And then after, come upstairs and do payment with our admin team to go over exact times for treatment and everything the next day. DBC Diaries Day 3. Today, Nora and Concepcion are going to come in for treatment. We're going to go over all of the reports with the doctor. He's going to go line by line to her blood work for both of them and also explain the echocardiogram and EKG so that Nora can understand where her heart is and so we can share that with you at home to see how well everything is going. When treatment's done, our driver is going to take them back to their hotel so they can rest and relax and enjoy the rest of the day. Bueno, aquí ya tengo los estudios que le realizamos a la paciente Nora. Entre ellos encontramos un ecocardiograma y también tenemos un electrocardiograma acompañados de sus estudios completos de laboratorio que les voy a mostrar ahorita en un momento a Nora y a Concepción. El tratamiento al que se van a someter la paciente Nora y Concepción es un intravenoso y tiene una duración de 60 minutos. Bueno, es momento de utilizar el ultrasonido para que analizar a nuestra paciente. Esto lo utilizamos en ocasiones, ya que a veces es un poco complicado encontrar la vena.
All right, hi, this is Josh, Dream Body Clinic, and we're here today with returning patient Nora. This is uh, the second video we've done together, but Nora's, your story is so incredible, I just wanted to share again. And also we did some new workups for your heart because you came originally, what, back in 2019, right? Yes. So you came in, and I remember you came with your son, what was he, like 10 at the time? Right. It was just you and him, you come in, and you came with this story that like I, I just couldn't believe. So. Do you want to just kind of explain what was going on at the time and why you came to us? Um, I had recently got diagnosed with congestive heart failure and artery disease. And um, my heart infraction was at 31%. Um, they had basically said there was nothing else we could do um, to go ahead and get, um, to get myself in order because um, there was no medicine, anything else that we could do. Yeah. So we came to do stem cells. Yeah, no, I'm so glad you found us at that time because I think that not only on top of that, you had had like a heart attack, right? Right, massive heart attack. Yeah, and your, I mean, a third of your heart was necrotic. Right. So, I mean, it was, if you don't know what that means, it was black, like dead tissue. You came, did treatment. I mean, even we couldn't believe you were standing up. I mean, with that bad of an ejection fraction and the heart damage like that, we did treatment. And then you called us up, I think like, was it about six months later? And you were doing really well. I was doing awesome. <laughs> I was able to walk, I was able to talk, I was able to breathe again. Oh wow. Um, it was just a whole new, it was like a fresh breath of air. Like, fresh air. Right? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I get it, it yeah. yeah. I mean, to go from that to that is incredible. Right. So, and the coolest part is we've been able to maintain it because you came again in 2021. That's right. when we did the last video, went over that, but we didn't do any new workups. So this time, just so people at home could see, we did some new EKG, right. uh, echocardiogram, chest X-ray, and sure enough, your ejection fraction was at 60%. Right. So your heart's still doing awesome. I mean, we're just, we're so happy to see that. Right. And I think each time you've just done a hundred million IV, correct? Right. So it's your third 100 million IV. So awesome for the heart. It's a lot of anti-aging benefits and all throughout the body. So we look forward to you just feeling better and better. We'll share on the websites, the, the new results so people at home can see it. But uh, we're seeing this across the board with heart issues. And we've been seeing a lot more recently, especially with younger people. Uh, a lot of people are having reactions from some of the different vaccines and whatnot. And we're seeing a lot of heart failure all throughout the age ranges, you know? So right. that's why we're so happy you were able to share that with us because I think it's helped a lot of other people that didn't know where to go, didn't know what to find because a lot of times the American medical system, you hit this point, they're like, oh, well, you know, go home, nothing else we can do. Right, exactly. And, you know, you got to start looking for something else. And fortunately, mesenchymal stem cells do wonders for heart health. So yeah. thanks for coming back. Thanks for sharing that. And you came this time with Conception. She's just finished her IV. Yes. <laughs> so we'll yes. be looking forward to seeing great results for you too. So we'll stay in touch. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and your son, what, he's 15 now, you he's said, 15. right? And he got tall. He's like, <laughs> right. that's really cool. So we're just glad you're doing so well and you're still around because they didn't give you a good diagnosis up there. They, no, not at all. They didn't give you any hope, nothing. They're, not at all. You know, they just try to mitigate things right. until whatever. Right? It's terrible. So I'm super happy we could help. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And if you at home have any questions, get a hold of us. It's www.dreambody.clinic. I'm Josh. Happy to help. DVC Diary Day 4. All right, that concludes episode 10 of DBC Diaries. We were so happy to see Nora again and to meet Concepcion so they could do their treatments. So that'll be it. They're going to go back home. We'll get them to the airport. And if you have questions about stem cell therapies, please feel free to contact us anytime at www.dreambody.clinic. I'm Josh. Happy to help. You.